Hello everyone, happy Friday. It is our Flex Friday today, and I'm gonna take a few moments to walk through our Flex Friday activity. So this activity relates to our discussion on the periodic table earlier this week. It's called the periodic people activity. And the reason we're doing this is to kind of help understand, um, help you guys understand how the periodic table is arranged in such a way that we start to see patterns and meaningful sequences and things like that. So, let's get down to it. You've been chosen for this top secret mission. Your mission is to work with sketches of the suspicious characters on the secret agent list. They are part of a family of secret agents, but the most deadly of all has never been seen. It is your job to arrange the sketches in a pattern so that you can draw the missing secret agent. So now that you know what you're going to do, let me break it down on maybe how you will go about actually doing that. So let's pretend, so like the idea, um, we'll just use numbers for now. Before starting, so pretend that you were given numbers from 0 to 99 on little squares of paper. You could arrange them all in one long line from 0 to 99, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we could keep going, right, all the way out in one long line. or without changing the order, we can start cutting the sequence and organizing it underneath. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and instead of continuing on with 10, 11, we cut our sequence, and we take part of our sequence and we put it down here. Then we continue on 13, 14, 15, 19, instead of going 20, we cut again and we stack it. So now we start to see some interesting things. When we start sequencing and stacking our numbers, what do we notice? Well, we start to see similarities in our columns, right? Now we have our columns going up by 10. Our rows all begin with the same number, things like that. So we can see these sequences and these patterns starting to show themselves. Well, it's the same idea but with our little suspicious characters now. So what you're going to do is first arrange the picture of the suspicious characters in one single line so that each character is a little different from the other by one basic characteristic. And then once you have your long row, you're going to chop the sequence like we did our numbers and start stacking them in sequenced rows. So. For example, let's just like work through the first one. I already have our little template set up for you so that you kind of know what it's going to be, what it's going to look like. You're going to fill it as so. So you start with, I'm going to do the first couple for you. You start with this little guy. This little guy is going to be your first one, I'm telling you right now. What you're going to do is you're going to look for a character that is similar but different by one characteristic. So if we look around, man, all these look really different. This guy has three arms and a bunch of little head things. He's got a big smile on his face, still three arms. Is there one that maybe looks similar but with one different characteristic? I'd say it's this guy. They both have one arm, but their face is a little different. So I'm going to put them in a line together. Next, I'm going to look for another one that maybe looks similar but different by one characteristic. Do I have any other one-armed guys? Nope. Looks like those are my only two one-armed guys. So then maybe let's go to two arms. Well, I have a few two arms all over the place, but what's one that looks the most similar, both one characteristic difference? So we got this guy. He's also really skinny, but he's different because he has two arms. So now we went from one arm to two arms. Now let's look. We're probably looking for another two-armed person, right? Because we're going to slowly get different, but with different with, but, oh, sorry, different by one characteristic. 
So we have a few other two arms, but some are bigger. Maybe we're looking for another little skinny guy. Let's look at this guy. Woo. Similar, but now he has two antennas. And maybe he's a little thicker. So that's how we work. We work our way through it. Continue on finding your pattern. And then once you have your whole roll out, you're going to drag your little people and start filling them in. So I put my first one here. I grab my second guy. I put my second guy up here. Where's my third little guy? Remember, I chopped my sequence. I went across. Now I'm going to go to my next set. Oops. Like that. So that's what we're going to start to do. So I have four done here. But now look at Ooh, interesting. Something has appeared. Do these two look kind of similar to each other? We have two little sad faces and two little, one little antenna. Now we start to see a pattern. So that's what you're going to work through. I'm going to leave the first two done for you. I'm going to drag them. I'll leave them up in the table. You can drag them back down to continue on with your pattern. But those two are done for you. So with that, uh, work hard on this, but um, wherever you are after an hour, stop at an hour and hand it in. It's okay if you're not completely done. We just want you to work on or try working on this for about an hour. If you get it done before that, that's great. Totally fine, but just wherever you are at the hour, hand it in. Another thing I want you guys to know, I want you guys to know that you are able to work with others on this. So if you want to text a friend, call a friend, get on a Google Meets with them or something and work through it together, I am totally a-okay with that. So two things, only work an hour and you can call a friend for help. The other thing, oh I almost forgot, there will be maybe a gap somewhere and that's where so you might have one shy. Wherever there's a gap in the characteristics, that's where your mystery agent will be. And you'll be able to kind of, once you have all the people organized the draw, I want you guys to draw the missing person and attach a picture here. So take a picture and insert it from your drive. So wherever your missing person ends up being in your thing. With that, good luck. Um, have fun. Let us know if you have any questions, and I will see you guys later.